Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and it's time for my spring nail polish rack. So this is a collaboration video, make sure that you check the description bar below for everyone taking part. And I've set myself some rules this year for my nail polish racks and I need to have at least 10 polishes that are untried and at least two of my project polishes on each rack. So I'm going to be starting off this rack with Daisy Jane by ILMP and this is one of my project polishes and I've probably only got about one manicure left in this one so I really do want to use it up but I do also have a backup bottle of this it's a very pretty delicate pink with very fine scattered holographic glitter in it then the next one is A England this was a recent purchase from a D stash and is untried and this is a sort of lavender pink um, with a really strong lavender shift in it um, which I couldn't pick up on the nails disappointingly so if it looks like that on my actual nails this one might not stay in my collection because I've got a lot of other um, pink holographic polishes. The next one is Arda's Nail Scarlet and this is a thermal that has almost entirely stopped transitioning so I want to try it out and see if I still like this on my nails. If I do then I might pop this one into my project polish at some point in the future. We'll just need to live with it for a bit and see how I feel. Then we have Simple Colours Orange Cream and this is not a colour polish that I would normally choose to wear for my nail polish rack um, but I have got some ideas for manicures and this is one of the ones I've picked for a specific manicure that I have in mind so if you want to see those as I do them you can head over to my Instagram page if not I will do a little bit of a recap at the end of spring of everything that I've used. And the next one is another one of those polishes that wouldn't normally end up on my rack but is for that same manicure actually and this is a Revlon's Buttercup. Next we have got Barry M's Elder Brie and this is the second for a polish from my project polish. Absolutely love this blue and uh, I really want to make sure that I get some wear out of it. Then we've got Moonshine Manny's Mint To Be. This is the first polish on this rack that was gifted to me by Louise of Loopy Frog Nails. And this is an untried and a polish that I actually um, provided the inspiration for. So uh, when I saw Louise was letting it go, I jumped on this one straight away. Um, it's really, really pretty. It has like a speckled effect and does look like mint choc chip ice cream. The third untried on my nail polish rack is the first Hollow Taco. This one's called Alien Infatuation and it's a sort of dusky grey colour with a strong green shimmer in it and scattered holographic. The next one's also by Hollow Taco and this is Minchi Cat Eye. It's a magnetic polish and it's another untried. It's a very pretty green and it has a lovely fine scattered holographic um, running through it as well. Next we've got Sunny Hansen Royal Icing. This is one that I've had on my spring nail polish rack before. Last time I wore it I wasn't really sure if I wanted to keep it because this one does take an awful lot of building up. Um, so I did say then I would try and find some undies for it. So that's what I decided to try and do this time and if I couldn't find a way of wearing it that I enjoyed then I would get rid of it. Um, so I'm pairing it this time with OPI's This Cost Me A Mint. And I think this one's going to be the perfect undies for that polish. The next one on my rack is Blue Streak by Sally Hansen. This is a sort of teal colour which didn't pick up very well on camera. Um, the swatch picture that you see here is more representative of the actual colour of this polish and I have chosen to wear this one combined with Tonic Polish Imagine. This one was on my winter nail polish rack and I enjoyed wearing it so much. I tried it out over a number of different colors and I really like this combination for spring. 
so this polish is coming back even though I did wear it on my winter rack. The next one is an essence and it's lucky to have blue. It's another one that was gifted to me by Louise and it's another of my untrieds. This one's called blue, but it's a very pale blue, more gray than blue in my opinion, but I love gray polish, so that's fine. The next one is Nails Ink Soul Surfer. This is another of my untrieds. I absolutely love this sort of color blue. I've probably got others very similar to it, um, but it is a color that I will continue to wear. So I doubt I'll de-stash any, but when I do compare all my polishes, we'll have to wait and see. Formula on all of these polishes is good. There's not a bad one yet. And another one from Louise, another essence. This one is I Lilac You. I have worn this one in amongst a nail art, but not part of a manicure. Um, so I didn't count it as an untried, but it's not been worn in a full mani. Then we have another Hollow Taco. This one is Party of One Purple, or poop as it is otherwise known. Uh, really pretty purple, I love this shade. I already have an idea of what I'm gonna do with this one. And then we've got Curfew Crasher by Holo Taco. This is another of my untrieds. We're up to seven now. Very, very pretty polish, this one. Um, I love it. It's kind of a, quite a subtle colour, but you've just got that gold shimmer in it and a little bit of a um, scattered holographic micro flake as well. It's just beautiful and just about okay to get away with wearing at work. Don't think I'll be wearing this one for work though. This is ILMP's Fairy Dust and a new to my collection, another untried just a stunning polish this one it's seems to have a sort of purpley blue base but a very strong orange shimmer in it and the scattered holographic all the way through it as well it's just beautiful i don't know what else to say it is very sheer though uh, it takes three coats to build this one up to full opacity so it's another one that i should probably try and find some undies for because um, i really don't want to run out of this one it's so pretty Then we have another of the polishes that was gifted to me by Louise. This one is Essence Powder Room Party. It's the third one on this rack from my Project Polish. And this one is a sort of very pale beige color. Then we have a polish that is rolling over from my winter rack. It's Public Displays of Confection by KB Shimmer. I didn't get around to wearing this one. They did want to try it out. Um, every time I looked at it, I just didn't feel like I wanted to wear it, which isn't really a good sign. Um, but I definitely do want to give it a try before I decide whether to keep it or not. And it is another of my untrieds. And the final untried is another polish that's new to my collection. It is Fancy Gloss Crystal Opal. I have to thank Krista for enabling this purchase, but it's so, so pretty. Um, absolutely no regrets and I already know what I'm going to be doing with this one. So that was the last of the untrieds. So I did meet my quota of 10. Here are all the polishes that I've put onto my spring nail polish rack. I hope you'll agree. I think it's a really pretty combination and I'm really looking forward to wearing these. What was on my nails through this video was Missouri's Sweet Charm Beads. That was from my winter nail polish rack. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the people in the description bar below that are also taking part. And I hope I'll see you in my next video, or maybe you'd like to watch one of these. Bye.